When I made my video um, about my clipboard, I had to make my own spring. And I had a lot of nice comments on the spring, so I thought I will show you guys how to make some other types of springs. So I'm going to start by making springs using basic tools that anyone can make, and then I'll move on and use other types of tools. What I have here is a pair of pliers with wire cutters some piano wire, a piece of dowel, a saw, drill, and some clamps. And that's pretty basic. We can start with that and make some simple springs. The first thing we have to do is cut a piece of dowel. And the next thing is to cut a small slot. That should be enough. The dowel that I'm using is a half inch and it'll just fit in the drill. Now I'll take a piece of piano wire and this is the thinnest of the piano wire. It's the same as C88 on a piano. And I'll just put it into the slot. Always use a pair of pliers and keep your hands away from the wire because it will spring and it may cut your hand. Here is my first spring I made using the wooden dowel. All I did was a little wire bending at the ends and it is an extension spring. So I'm going to move on and the next thing I'll do is the compression spring. Now just um, cut off the ends a bit. And now I have a nice compression spring. To show you how good the compression spring works, I just put the dowel in a block of wood, drop the spring in, and put this little block on here. Hit the ceiling. Now I'm going to make a tapered spring, but I first have to taper the dowel. So there is a tapered spring. To make a larger spring, I just used two dowels. I drilled a hole into one and put a half inch dowel in and that will fit into the drill. I also cut the slot for the wire. So using wooden dowels works pretty good and there's many possibilities but if you want to make something smaller you can't use a smaller dowel because the it, the wood won't hold up. Now I'm going to make a few different springs and just use a piece of brass. This is a piece of brass rod and I cut a slot in there just using a hacksaw. I just did a little wire bending again and now I have a torsion spring.
So buying springs all the time can add up. I've bought lots over the years and I'm glad I tried to make them. And I hope this can help you. I, as you can see, I made a whole bunch of different types. Very easy, very quick to make. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.